what we're doing today and, and tomorrow and, and the day after. Yes. It's remarkable. I, I'm so excited to be, to be part of it. I've got you to won't. Say. Trust me, when you get here, you won't. I, no, no, no. I, look, I understand it's it's going to be hard. Yes. But it, there's something about... I mean, people think of charity as... You know, the people getting the charity must be so grateful. But it's not. It's when you do the charity, you're the one that feels good for doing exactly. it. You're the one that feels good. Charity yes. is gives more to you, it feels sometimes, than it does to to the person Recipient. you're actually giving yes, it to. Because exactly. the person you're giving it to, it's hard to accept. Oh, it very. is hard to accept charity. When you first told me about the, these runs, and I thought, oh, that's fantastic. You left, and we just sat there with a cup of tea talking about it and thinking what what could be doing did you know had no idea 21 they all they'd all lost their husband to to suicide had no idea i'd only asked to meet some of the families the youngest was 42 and the eldest was 80. i, I keep thinking about that the gentleman that killed the cattle shot his cattle because he couldn't feed them and, mm -hmm. and then and then shot himself right there with them yes he shot the cattle because there was no food, no water, no nothing. He'd come, he, it had been handed down to him through the fourth generation. And they succeeded where he said he failed. And he didn't come home one night and the wife went looking for him. His wife walking out and yep. searching and finding all the cattle and, and him amongst it. I mean, yes. You know, that, that goes beyond even just him and what he's gone through now. Mm -hmm. It's her and what she's left with and yes. the, the story that the kids all have in their head. That It's just... And, and this family, they live six hours from the main town. She will be our next mental health yeah. patient and her children, two little boys. If it's intergenerational, they've been there their whole life. That's all they, they know. Yeah. But the, those numbers, though, if yeah. that, and that wouldn't be all of them. That's oh, just yeah. that's, that's just the ones that agreed that to they, come in. Yes, that, exactly. That. Yep. But you know, I just personally believe we need more awareness of the mental illness side of out here uh, because it's huge. But the other thing too, is, I mean, if you can't afford soap and you can't afford afford shampoo and you're struggling to put food on your own table, you're not going to pay for mental health. No. You know, you're not no. going to even think to go to a doctor to, to get the referral. You don't have the money no. to make the trip in for that. To, no. And then to show up every week for an appointment. That's right. You I don't mean, have the fuel. You don't have the money. You don't have nothing. And, and like, look, one lady's explanation to me was everything has been taken from us. What would that really feel like within yourself if that's how you felt every day for how long? Years. You know, no wonder our suicide rate is at the height that it's at. I've I've suffered with, with anxiety and depression and stuff and got a handle on it. And I can tell you now, when you're going through, yeah, it's, it's insurmountable. Yes. Yeah, it is. And to hear the story about these 21 women and they've all lost a husband and this is just in one area mm -hmm. you know to, to suicide to depression to, to mental illness over a lack of rain and yes how many of these runs have you done this will be my ninth run and this that's from, that's from Gimby to Long Reach yeah and you, you the surrounding out. areas we go to Mataburra Stonehenge Ilfacone Jericho Buckalden and we also travel into farms, going two or three hours into their farms. Our boxes are full of necessities, which is flour, sugar, um, water, um, just dishwashing detergent. Aloe vera. Aloe vera, you name it. Toilet paper, um, shampoo, conditioner. When you're talking to the people and you hear the family say, shampoo, we haven't had that for four years. Just the things we take for granted. Lady sanitary napkins. One young lady had been away at a boarding school and while, while she was completing her education, her family had to pull her out of boarding school and bring her home because they could, could definitely not afford it. And she, 
needed to come home and help on the farm as they were struggling badly. And so the little girl, when she came in, um, we handed her a bag and, uh, and I said, help yourself darling, there's plenty to go around. And the little girl looked at me and she said, I've never used them, we use rags. We can't afford to buy anything else, but it's what they use to get themselves through because they cannot afford to buy essential items. And then the young girl, when I was talked a little bit longer to her, the young girl looked at me and said, I'm a burden to my family. And it was sad. To me, that's a cry for help. And how many more out there that we don't see and we don't hear about? Well, it doesn't take, it doesn't take much to give a bit of hope, I no, guess. No. It doesn't take much to give a bit of love, a bit of care and a bit of understanding. But hope is most important. They hope that they're not forgotten. Those lovely ladies that we just spoke to, um, one of them was saying that her husband's 82 and at the moment he's out feeding the cattle on the, on the, on the farm road. Yes. Yep. You know, they're, they're trying. They're, they're, doing, they're everything. doing everything. They do they everything can. they yeah. can. Most, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't exactly call me city folk, but you know, on days this hot, I don't leave the air conditioning. No. And they're out there just trying to hold it together. They are struggling. They are struggling mentally.